Hi, I'm Jack from Teacher Geek, and today we're going to build the wind lift. In order to build your wind lift, you're going to need a few things, starting with what came with the kit. A hole plate, three pieces of chipboard that are 22 centimeters by 5 centimeters, or 8.5 by 2 inches, a portion cup, two 30 centimeter or 12 inch dowels, one 25 centimeter or 10 inch dowel, one 15 centimeter or 6 inch dowel, 10 25 centimeter or 10 inch project sticks, four perpendicular blocks, a 7 centimeter or 3 inch piece of slide stop, a green mini hub cover, and mini hub base, two number 10 25 millimeter or one inch screws, two number 10 nuts, one mini hub screw, one 15 centimeter or six inch piece of wire, one 45 centimeter or 18 inch piece of string, and a Teacher Geek reamer. These are included in single kits. You're also going to have to supply some materials. Tape, scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, a fan to create wind for your turbine, and something to use for weights, like pennies, or nuts. You can also use jelly beans, candies, anything that's, that's small, consistent, and pretty heavy. Cool, now someone's gotta clean all that up, Jack. Thanks, bud. Uh, yeah, I got a meeting, I'll see you later. We're going to start by attaching two perpendicular blocks to our whole plate using two screws and two nuts. So I'm gonna put my screw through the bottom of the whole plate, the concave side. So there are four holes between the screw and the edge on the side and two holes between the screw and the top. Then I'm going to push a perpendicular, then I'm going to push a perpendicular block onto the screw. You can also twist the screw through the block and thread a nut onto the screw. You can use your screwdriver to get it nice and tight. I'll do the same on the other side. All right. Next, I'm going to take two 30 centimeter or 12 inch dowels and I'm going to wiggle them through the center hole of a perpendicular block. I like to put my block flat on the table with that hole facing up and then wiggle the dowel in. The center holes are a little tricky. Next, I'm going to push these with the block facing up into the empty hole of the block on the base, pushing all the way down so my dowel extends through the whole plate. You may have to turn your bottom blocks so that the hole lines up with the hole in the whole plate. When you put your dowels in, you wanna make sure the blocks on top are facing like this. Because next we're going to add a six inch or 15 centimeter dowel like so. And I'm going to push it through so that these are both vertical. Each of these blocks has one empty hole. I want to remove the teeth from those holes, so I'm going to use a reamer. I'm going to push and twist it into the hole until the teeth are gone. The teeth in this block will hold the dowel in place so it can't move, like this one here. Once you remove the teeth, the dowel can slide and spin freely. So we want to remove the teeth from both of these blocks so that we can spin a dowel through them. As you can see, the dowel can now spin. Now I'm going to need two one centimeter or half inch pieces of slide stop. I'm not going to measure because they don't need to be perfect. You can cut slide stop with a pair of scissors or a Teacher Geek multi cutter. Push that piece of slide stop onto your dowel about five centimeters or two inches. Next, you're going to wiggle or push a mini hub base onto your dowel, like so, and put the mini hub cover on top. Fasten these together with a mini hub screw. All right, now that my hub is tightened up, 
I'm going to slide the dowel through those holes we reamed in the perpendicular blocks. And I'm going to add another piece of slide stop to the other side. You don't want to put the slide stop too tight because you want this to be able to spin freely. The slide stop just keeps it from falling out. Now we're ready to add the lift. To add your lift mechanism, start by taking your string and taping it to the dowel that has the hub on it, the one that can spin. Next, we're going to add our portion cup, which holds the weights. Start by taping one side of the wire down. And to make it even stronger, if you leave a little, a little bit of extra and fold it back over the tape, you can apply a second piece of tape. And that'll keep the wire from pulling off the cup. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. To finish my lift mechanism, I just tie the string around the handle of the portion cup. You know it took me 30 years to learn how to tie my shoes? But I'm rocking it now. Cut <laughs> beneath the table and you're wearing like flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> so my lift mechanism is all set. I just need to add blades now. What the blades will do is they're going to capture the wind and cause it to spin this dowel, wrapping the string around it and lifting up our weight holder. To make your blades, you're going to tape a project stick to the edge of your chipboard so that there's some extra left at the bottom. This extra is going to get secured inside of your hub. All right, my blades are all set. Time to attach them to the wind lift. To attach them, we're gonna go back to that mini hub and we're going to loosen that screw just enough to fit those turbine blades in. The extra bit on the blades should slide through the holes in the outside of the hub. You may want to hold it flat so that they don't fall out as you add them all in. Before I tighten this up, I need to make sure that my blades are angled. The angle on the blades is what's going to make them spin. Now that they're angled, I'm going to tighten up that screw to hold them in place. Let's see it in action. We're going to add a fan and see if it can lift our weights. It's barely making it. But can we make it lift even faster and lift even more weight? We can. We just have to redesign the blades. They're the weak link. To make your wind lift even better, start by changing the angle of the blades. You're going to want to tune those first. It's the easiest variable to change and it makes the biggest difference. Once you have that down, experiment with different blade designs. Big blades, little blades, lots of blades. Just a couple blades. Blades made of bottles. Blades made of bottles covered in duct tape. Blades made of cereal boxes covered in duct tape. Blades made of just duct tape. As you can tell, we love duct tape around here, but there are tons of materials you can use. Just check the recycling bin for more ideas. Until next time, happy making.